Yeah, I always, uh, always wanted to be in an epic Star Wars movie. <laughs> Probably be on the bad guy side anyways, but... <laughs> uh, I'll try my lines here, you know. Obi-Wan will never know the power of the dark side of the Force. Eh, I don't know. How does that sound? Anyways, uh, today, tack life again. And we're going to modify this fence a little bit, and then I'm going to do that other item I promised, which was to talk about the Harbor Freight item that uh, can also act as a nice fence for a tack life saw. It's an alternative, and I'll show you how to set it up to make it work on this saw. And I'm also going to put it back together so I can use it as a clamp because I'm really enjoying this. I love it. But there is a problem, which is this side is kind of messed up. So first thing we're going to do is uh, drill this out a little bit. And I'm going to put some T-nuts in here with some different screws. And that way I can use either side of this for my uh, projects. Cool? Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need is to do this and get this uh, get this apart so I can uh, remove all this hardware. Yeah, French editing and post, as they say. All right, so let's see if I can. Oh yeah, these are <clears throat> yeah they're going to jump right out of there. Okay, so there's that. Oh neat. Yeah and. See if we can get this one. Hmm. This is quite a nice little assembly. Okay, all right. Okay, now I've got the hardware. Now I gotta remove this. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice tight fit. Now, uh, so we have to drill these out. So, off to the drill press for a second here. Okay, so what I've done here so far is I used the Fossner. I used an oversized Fossner a little bit. That way there's some slop right here. And obviously the reason for it is these, because these holes were already made and I'm hitting it with a Fossner, it was really hard to center up. So even if they're off a little bit, it'll still go down below this. And then we'll do a little sanding around the edges just so there's no sharp edges to catch on. And this will still hopefully make a nice uh, fence. If worse comes to worse, we can put a piece of <laughs> over top of it. No, I'm just kidding. I probably should do this on the uh, drill press instead of trying to do this by hand. What do y'all think of that? Hmm. Yep. You know what? We're going to do the drill press thing. Okay, 516 and be right back. Quick trip to the drill press and put the 916 or the 516, excuse me, right through. And it's still a little tight and but that should allow me to, yep, that'll definitely allow me to pull those right through. So I'm not going to even worry about it at that point. So now, the plan is to put these in here like this. I don't know if we need to use the washers. I think we will because I like spreading the load with a washer when you're doing lumber uh, of any sort, anything like this. These can go back in. Let's see, put the drill bit back up. Good. So, uh, we're ready. <laughs> yeah, all right, so now I gotta push this back into position to where it was, all the way down, nice and tight. Okay, and let's get this, hopefully, let's see how this works. Okay, okay. now, now theoretically, these should thread in and catch. And they did. Okay, very good, very good. So, let's see if I can get that. Yep. Yeah. So, now this side is still the same guy, but this is now the same thing. We can go right on by with lumber on either side of this. And what that does right, intentionally is this right here. So. I can come to this side of the saw and uh, still use my fence that I made up for the Attack Life saw. Now, that's over. That's a done deal for now. I went to Harbor Freight and without the coupon, you can buy uh, this Pittsburgh 24 inch clamp, which uh, I had mentioned this the other week, but 
I wanted to clarify what's going on. It's it has two rubber clamp. Oh, let me show it to you. Uh, cut. Like I was showing the other week, uh, I got this 24 inch clamp at Harbor Freight and these are only about $13 so they're really a cheap buy but they come with these little uh, clamps in them and they fit in here and one fits in here and what it does is it took too much space so there was no way you could get this to work with this table. It just wouldn't go quite far enough. Now you can buy the bigger clamp, that would be you know one way to resolve it. But what I did was I took this apart and removed the two uh, pieces. And that way I could put this on here. And you have to be kind of careful because it's kind of tight. So you can lock it, but I really wasn't fussy with the way the lock worked out. It didn't really set up the way I wanted to. And I was going to cut this back even further to make it work better with, with the handle this way. And then I realized... Uh, I really like this fence. It's working. It's doing its trick. I've got one more modification on this fence we're going to make yet, but we'll get back to that. And meantime, I wanted to show you this. And I'll show you how to get this apart and how to get these out of there because I'm actually going to put these back in because I'm going to save this clamp for woodworking for the future, but I'm not going to be using it on the saw on the table here. There's no reason to use it. I'm pretty, I'm really, really happy with this uh, wood fence I made up. So. We're going to uh, go ahead and just turn this back into the clamp that it was when I bought it. Well, let's go and see how to take these off or to put these on and show you what's involved. It's not that hard at all. Now this is the, so here's the clamp and this end here has the handle still. This is the other end. Now the, la the first thing you're going to do is work on this end to get this apart so you can get these in or out of there. The, set, the last thing you'll do when you're assembling it is put this back together. All right, did that make sense? <laughs> I hope it did. Because we're going to pull this, it's spring-loaded, and we're just going to lift it up until we, we clear it. And then there's a spring underneath here. Now, the, at that point, you can now push the whole assembly like this, right up through, and take the whole thing off. All right? Now... Because of the way they assembled this, this one here will turn up high enough, I think, seems to me, yeah, you can get this part back up in here, and you just have to get these little outside brackets to squeeze, and there, she's back in place. Now, that's the easy one to do, of course. <laughs> this one here is a little different. This one has to completely come apart to get the bracket on it, because it won't swing out far enough. So to do that, we're going to back the whole thing off and pull this pin. To get the pin out, get a pair of uh, side cutters like this. Uh, they used to be called dykes. I don't know if that's politically correct anymore. But, uh, yeah. And just give it a little squeeze and it should lift the pin out like that. And then that way, there you go. And you just, the pin is in kind of like friction tight, but it's not in super tight. So it's pretty easy to deal with. Now we'll take the spring off. And then we're going to pull this whole assembly out of there, like that. Now I'm holding the lock with a spring on it as well. I want you to see that, yeah. And then, again, the same thing where you have to sort of spread these a little bit to get them to pop on. But once they lock on, they're in place. Now, we'll bring this rod back through with the spring. Okay, so that part of the assembly is pretty, pretty straightforward so far. This spring has a, a large end and a small end. You want the small end down towards where the pin is. And we're going to put the pin back in. Like that. Now, there's a lot of uh, corruptive ways you could do this. But I just hammered it on the wooden bench here. Because it sort of friction fits. It's, it's, it's a pretty tight situation there. And then the spring rides up against that. Now... All that said and done, we still need to put this back together. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is actually start this end up here in first and slide all the way in like that until I have enough room to clear to get this end started again where the handle is. So now I'm going to get the handle back into the channel. So now I've got almost the whole thing back together. Well, almost, okay. 
So the final piece of the puzzle is this guy right here. And what I'm going to do is hook the back of the spring with it and pull it like this. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you get this right, it, it'll work great. And if you don't get it right, like right now, okay, and we're going to pull it back and pop it in like that. And there's your dud end. Okay, so now you have the whole thing back together. And as you work this, you can, you know, uh, let's clamp it to the table just for just for fun. All right, back up a little bit here. We'll just we'll just go ahead and clamp it to this. Uh, I think we can. Yeah, we can't even get through there. So okay, so now we can clamp it to this table for whatever. And oop. Okay, and then you pull it like that, there. And then she is absolutely tight and clamping, which, you know, for the price of it, it's actually a really nice clamp for furniture or table or, or whatever you're building that's, you know, you need a long clamp like that, or even a short clamp, it's it's just a nice piece. I, I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I just don't need it for my tack life saw anymore, so <laughs> that day is over with. <laughs> So that begs the question, how many clamps do you need? If you're a woodworker or if you like to, you know, have a wood hobby out in the garage, a shop, and I guess the real answer, truthfully, you'll never, ever have enough clamps, okay? It's just, just never going to be enough. You'll always need another clamp. <laughs> so, hey, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools and uh, another Tack Life mod. Uh, coming up shortly on this uh, fence, we're going to put the final, you know, piece to it that's going to make it just the, the primo fence or the fence that's right. Okay. So, well, let's head over. And yeah, the, the final, the final piece.